What's that? A fire? No, that's not smoke. That's steam from an engine. And that sounds like Thomas. Harold hurried off to get help. But Thomas didn't know that Harold had even seen his signal. He had nearly given up hope. Oh, no one can hear me. And it'll be dark soon. Oh, oh no, what's that? <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Need some help? <gasps> you look like you're a little stuck. Thomas, what are you doing all the way out here? I, I was trying to help, sir. I was looking for... Whoa! 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 Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's get you back on the tracks, Thomas, and out of these woods. But Harold just flew away again, and I thought he hadn't even seen me. But then, crash! Percy and Rocky turned up and saved me. <laughs> Sounds like you had quite an adventure. I certainly did, Hero. But I'm sorry I didn't find any spare parts for you. I wish you were repaired and ready to leave, too. But, Thomas, I am. <laughs> Are you? I thought your spare parts would take weeks to get here. Sir Topham Hart ordered plenty of spare parts for me last time I was fixed, in case I ever broke down again. So, shall we? Yes, please. <laughs> This time, Thomas remembered to slow down for the bed. He was so happy to be with his friend once more. Thomas and Hero, the two masters of the railway. Allow me, madam. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. My apologies. Uh, we'll make sure we fix that at the next station. <laughs> oh. oh dear, that stuck window won't look good. Don't worry, Annie. <laughs> we'll have your windows fixed in no time. <laughs> 